And we're back to learning GIMP and this time I'm going to show you how to create an HDR effect. So what we want to create is a high dynamic range. The basic steps are always the same. You copy your photo two times. Let me make the first one invisible. I go to the second one and now I desaturate it. I pick lightness HSL, but you could basically use any method or any mode to desaturate it. And then go to filters, blur and use the Gaussian blur. I would suggest that you keep it below a value of 10 for X and Y. Let me use 7 for this one. And then change the blending mode to overlay. This gives you the dynamic range, but it also darkened the photo. You can see that if we compare it to our original. So you want to go up afterwards with this layer, so that the saturated one and crank the brightness up. Be careful with your contrast though. You actually want to go down a little bit. I like this value right here. And now you can see the range is way better. We recovered most of the details. Let's go to our top layer, make it visible again and also use overlay. And once again, it's too dark now, so we'll have to increase the brightness and go down with the contrast once more. So these are the usual steps. The exact values are up to you. You can also play around with our opacity right here for both of these adjustment layers. And if you want to have it even more intense, you can copy the two layers. So this one was the desaturated one, let me rename it. And if I copy this, it's going to make the effect more intense. You can see that where there's the lighting. So you have lots of ways to adjust the intensity by copying the layers using opacity. But this is the general process that I use to create an HDR effect in GIMP. I hope this video was helpful, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.